Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here with another iPod and iPhone tutorial on how to SSH into your iPod. Now, some of you guys don't know how to do this, and some of you guys have no idea what this even even is. So, what I'm gonna do is just get into the tutorial on how to do it, and then later explain how it works and what makes it so good to SSH. So, to do this, you obviously want to be jailbroken. And then once you do that, open up Cydia, go to the search, and you're going to want to type in open SSH. Just like that, you should get a package that comes up in right there. Just click it and install it. I have modify up there. Alright, next you want to download a package called SB Settings. Go to the S section, and it's got the little finder icon right there. I have it checked in, which means I downloaded it. Now, if you haven't downloaded SB settings already, it's pretty much a guest just slide um, that comes down, and you can do all this stuff. All right. Now, when you do SB settings, as you can see, I have SSH right here, and it's on. I could turn it off if I wanted to, and I could turn it back on which is what I want to do. But when you download OpenSSH NSB settings, it's not going to be there. So what you want to click on more, then you want to go to um, set toggles, scroll all the way down and SSH, turn it off and then turn it back on, then get out and it should just say setting language and it should respring and then you should have the SB settings toggle there. Now, once you did all that, you're going to want to go onto your computer. If you're on Windows, you'll download you'll download WinSCP. I'll have that link in the description. If you're on Mac, you'll download a program known as Cyberduck. I'll have that in the description as well. This also works for Snow Leopard. That's what I'm currently running, and it works perfectly fine. So once you've downloaded either or, you're going to want to open up one of them. Go and this is how SSH works. If you have your iPod plugged in, you could SSH anytime without worrying about it turning off or anything. But you could also SSH if you have your iPod unplugged, but the screen has to be active. If it goes into the lock screen like mine just did, it'll disable. It's 9:30. Okay, yes, it's 9:30. Whatever. <laughs> it um if you go into the lock screen it'll disable SSH and you'll have to um go into the lock screen again unlock it and refresh that's just a that's just um so it doesn't stop being connected so what I'm actually going to do is just plug in my iPod here and I am going to quit iTunes force quit it whatever just to make that it's plugged in okay and now, if I go to Open Connection, this is how it works. You want to press this arrow right here, do SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol. Then you want to head over to your iPod, go to SB Settings, and right here it's going to say your Wi-Fi IP address. Don't worry about sharing that with people. It's very, it's not going to do anything. Mine's 192.168.1.106. So for the server, that's what I wanted type in right there 192.168.1.106 the username this is the same for everybody is root and the password which is also the same is alpine a l p i n e no spaces no capitals then press connect it should say this and you should be connected um, something might pop up saying allow or whatever, just press it. Now, now we're connected to SSH, but that's not it. I'm going to explain what, why you should do it and what's the point. Now, SSH is basically, you know, your iPod. It's basically all the files used to construct the firmware of your iPod. That's a better way of explaining it. And you could add files, delete files. Say you want to delete apps, you could add apps this way if you go to the right directory. You could do a lot of really cool stuff. 
And once you do it, it automatically changes your iPod. You don't have to like sync it or anything. You might have to respring, but that's it. So for example, if I go up one, go over to my stash and my themes, those are all the winterboard themes I have downloaded. I can, I can highlight a folder. Say I don't really want the uh, lit theme anymore. I'll just delete it. I'll go into my winterboard right now, showing you that I have my, um, just wait for the settings to load because I have an add off winterboard that appears in the settings. As you can see, I have an, the lit theme right there. You'll see it right here if I delete it from that directory it's gonna be gone I see I deleted it now if I go back to my themes for example click on it again a lit is no longer there the lock screen and everything is but the theme isn't so it's really really cool if I go all the way up that's my applications folder every single app I have downloaded I mean it's really good it works perfectly it's an amazing thing. Every jailbreaker should use it. And I hope this really helped, and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a nice day.